So this has been a really odd time <laughs> because it's brought a huge amount of, well, massive hard work <laughs> for, for me. And also aware that for others who've gone on furlough, some people have more time than they know what to do with. It's brought a lot of uncertainty. It's brought lots of new challenges. It's brought worries. It's brought grief. There's so much that's difficult going on. But also, for me, there's in, despite all of that, there's also been so much positive. I've loved being at home, if I'm really honest. I've loved not having to do all the traveling that I normally do. I've loved being able to spend time in the garden, um, planting seeds, growing things, having that time, more time at home with family than I would have had. So it's been a really odd thing holding those two things together. And the only way really that I have been able to do that is by cultivating gratitude and being so aware of where I am in a very privileged situation, particularly my, my work with Tear Fund exposes me to how this is impacting poor communities all around the world who can't self-isolate, who can't stock up their food, they don't have a fridge, who depend on a daily wage, who literally are on the brink of starvation because they can't earn for one day and therefore they can't buy food the next. I am just, I'm so grateful for all the things that I am able to enjoy. So I practice gratitude and then look at how can I help people who are around me both locally and globally and so use some of the, the good things that I've been experiencing in order to benefit and to bless others as well.